Good evening. Okay, sorry. I'll try not to be awkward. Um, good Sunday to you all out there in the analog photography world. Welcome to a new segment here on Eclecticrome called... <laughs> I actually haven't come up with a name for it, um, but it's basically analog photography news. Okay, so some of you might be familiar, but I do write the news for 35MMC, and that includes a lot of analog industry photo news, which is very exciting to me. I love new shiny things. If you haven't noticed, I love playing with new cameras and new film stocks. So, but I've been wanting to do something on YouTube for a long time, and there have been a few things that have held me back, um, not just the name, the name definitely has held me back, but also like the background, like I wanted like a cool background and like a cool jacket, cause like I basically just wanna be Nico, but on this channel. So <laughs> if you haven't heard of Nico's photo news, that's basically who I wanna be when I grow up. So um, I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> And actually this is gonna be like a pilot episode and if y'all just hate it, then I just won't do another one. Um, but I do wanna to try to do one and see how it goes and let me know if you like it. Let me know if you're interested in the news headlines or the headlines in analog photography or photography. It's gonna be mostly analog, maybe some digital stuff, but that's related to analog, um, like Flashback's new digital disposable camera, uh, which we will talk about later. Now for each news item, I'm going to keep it super short, super short and sweet. And if you want more info or details that I don't mention, uh, then I will leave the link to the news article below or where you can find more information about it below. And if there's anything that I haven't mentioned uh, that you think is newsworthy, please let me know. Uh, products, news, events, anything that's going on in the analog world, I would love to hear it from you if I haven't mentioned it here. So you can leave a comment below uh, with any news that you have, or you can email info at 35mmc.com and that will go to Hamish, who will forward it to me. All right, let's get into talking about the actual news. So Silvergrain Classics has paired up with Susan and Jeff Bridges to bring out a more modern wide lux camera. Now you may be familiar with Jeff Bridges. He's an actor, he's done lots of Hollywood movies and he's captured lots of amazing photos of behind the scenes or on set with his wide lux camera, which is super cool. So they are working together to bring out a more modern version of the camera and recreate it, which is awesome. Our next piece of news is from Mint. Now Mint makes instant Polaroid cameras and they made a new one, but the special thing about this one is that it can shoot all three types of Polaroid films. And I'm not sure, I'm, there might be more than that, but I'm, I'm not that familiar with Polaroid films. Um, but this one can shoot SX-70 film, 600 film, and the more modern I-type film. Oh, I missed my finger there. <laughs> Uh, which is really cool. It's like an all-in-one Polaroid camera. So if that is something that interests you, now it is a little expensive. I thought it was on the pricier side, uh, but it is quite a special camera. So if you have the budget for it, go check it out. It did say they were releasing it in a limited edition, uh, which kind of inferred that there would be more, but they didn't say when more will be coming. So I'm not sure about that. At the time I wrote about it, there was only one left. So, um, so stay tuned on that and we'll see if they bring out more. Some news from Negative Supply. Now, Negative Supply has been having a very active summer, so they had a special sales event in June, which is over, so <laughs> we're a bit late for that. Um, but they've released two new upgrades to their products. They've released an upgrade to their Light Source Pro and an upgrade to their Basic Film Carrier. So the Basic Film Carrier Mark II has been announced, and this basically combines some pro-level elements into their basic system and tries to also decrease the cost as well. If you're not familiar with Negative Supply, their products are on the premium end. They're really expensive, but they are targeting that premium market and even maybe some labs that have gone into DSLR scanning. And they have lots of like kits for scanning. They've got a basic level, a pro level, and there's different functionalities for each at different price levels. So, and they've also updated their Light Source Pro. So they're calling it the five, four by five Light Source Pro. And it replaces the 5x7 Light Source Pro. So that's like two new products, which is awesome. Um, but I think the main story here for Negative Supply is that they are trying to bring a lot of their manufacturing in-house so that they can make it cheaper. And they're trying to find more cost-effective ways um, you know, to make things, to bring their prices down. Okay, so something interesting actually. So there's a company called Kolari Vision, and I think they do a lot of work with IR filters, like infrared filters and 
that kind of uh, spectrum glass stuff. Um, and what they're doing is they're actually trying to release or do a Kickstarter for sunglasses. And their tagline is by photographers for photographers. So sunglasses specifically made for photographers using their uh, knowledge and experience in the infrared or the filter space, uh, which is cool. <laughs> The other thing about this news is that at the moment they're sort of taking reservations if people are interested. Um, you do have to pay like one dollar but essentially that one dollar reserves your campaign discount when they do start the Kickstarter. The one thing though is that they don't have a release date for the Kickstarter yet and when I asked the contact there they said they weren't sure when they were going to go live. So if you are interested in these sunglasses and you do want to reserve the campaign price just keep that in mind that it could be next week or it could be in a few months um but yeah they don't know when their release date is so just keep that in mind one of my favorite pieces of news actually recently is a new startup based in australia called flashback and this is started by founders kelrick mullen and mackenzie salisbury and they have built a digital camera that looks like a disposable camera acts like a disposable camera it's so cool guys, it's so cool. Um, so essentially like the, it, it looks, it's just exactly like a, a disposable camera and it comes preloaded with 27 exposures. I mean, you can choose the film that you load into the camera. It all works through an app. So you essentially load the camera in the app, you pick your film and then you shoot the camera, you shoot the 27 exposures and then you reconnect the app, but it takes 24 hours for your pictures to come into the app. Uh, so it's just like getting your film developed. I mean, it's not just like getting your film developed, um, but it, it's really a creative idea. And I think it's a great fusion of digital and film and shooting digital is not a crime here. So um, I think it's cool. <laughs> and they're super nice as well. And they seem really put together. I mean, they didn't release the campaign until uh, they had a pretty like solid product in the final stages, uh, which I think was actually quite smart because it makes them, it makes it easier for them to deliver the, their campaign promises. And their PR is awesome. So kudos to Flashback, they're doing really well. And I would definitely say is a company to watch. All right, um, if you haven't heard, Analog Wonderland has acquired Silver Pan Lab. Now Silver Pan Lab is based in Bristol and they have a very high quality service, but they also specialize in a lot of different chemical processes like ECN2 processing. Uh, so I think the relationship is really good between Analog Wonderland and Silver Pan, and I think that will allow benefits to flow both ways, which is awesome. So our next item is from Ondu. Now I love this story. So Ondu cameras, they manufacture pinhole cameras. It's handcrafted in Slovenia. If you watch their videos and their, their workshop just looks amazing, but they're also into large format and so is the founder. So the founder Elvis, he has a really um, like extensive alpining and uh, adventure and exploring background. And he's done some incredible wet plate work up these just, just amazing um, mountains. Like, I feel like there's a bigger word than mountain, but yeah, it's a mountain. <laughs> it's just like, just, in, just these incredible places that he's brought all of this gear trekked up he has designed a new 4x5 large format camera. It is a beautiful camera. There are three different options. They launched a Kickstarter. Um, it's meant to like grow with you so you could get the basic starter version. And then if you're interested in like a panoramic version or um, like a more extendable version uh, range, you can read the news story for the details. So. And it looks amazing. And if you are into landscape photography, and considering large format, it looks so cool. <sighs> Anyways, the campaign is over by now, I think. So if you were interested in this and you didn't back the campaign, you'll probably have to wait until it goes on regular sales after the campaign has been fulfilled. So, uh, okay, that is that. All right, so two new news items for TT Artisan. Now we post a lot of TT Artisan news on 35 MMC and a lot of it is lenses and indeed they have released a new LTM which is the Leica thread mount 28mm f5.6 lens. 
Now, this lens is like a super pancake lens. So if you are into street photography, if you're into zone focusing, if you're into tiny lenses, then check this out. And it's not an original design. They are copying a prior, there was a prior version released by, I think Leica definitely made one, um, but I think maybe someone else made something similar. Um, I'll have to look that up and double check it, but uh, essentially it's that lens, but for cheaper, because that is what TD TT Artisan does. And usually TT Artisan does a lot of like full frame and APS-C digital size lenses, uh, and they don't do so much for film photographers, but this LTM lens is really exciting because if you have an LTM film camera, there's lots of LTM film cameras like a thread mounts, and I actually have one, um, it's a Canon L3, and I think the lens should fit it, so this is also on my wish list. <laughs> And then TD Artisan has also released a light meter upgrade. So they already had a light meter out on the market and based on some of the feedback that they received, they have upgraded it. So they have improved the meter accuracy, they've made it smaller, they've gone to a smaller battery, and they have made a more clickable dials, which just feel nicer because apparently they weren't as nice before. Uh, and they have also doubled the amount of shutter speed stops that you can select, which is great. All right, so that is it for this week's news. Um, if you enjoyed this segment, this little show, uh, please let me know in the comments below and I would definitely love to do more, but I am kind of still kicking around with the format. I mean, I don't know if I should just do shorts and maybe break this long video up into shorts or do the long format or do both. I mean, it's a lot of time. <laughs> it does take a lot of time to produce videos, so. Um, please let me know what your thoughts are. I also had the idea of calling it hot off the press, but then analog news, like hot off the press and analog news or something like that, which would then be hot pan, H-O-T-P-A-N, which is kind of like the pan, like black and white film, like, <laughs> like Foma pan or Wonder pan. Um, but then I thought that was just as bad, so. Um, the name is on pause at the moment. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more as well, then leave me a like and a comment and consider subscribing if you love film photography and you want to see more film photography videos. All right, that is it and I will see you in the next video. Bye!